What's good YouTube? Welcome back to the channel guys. Welcome back for another vlog. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about how to level up as a CEO and how specifically I'm going to be leveling up myself as a CEO in the year of 2023. Um, if you don't know me, my name is Derek Dahl. I am the founder and CEO of Three Nails. We're a premium faith-based activewear company that I built out of my garage five years ago and turned it into a multiple seven-figure company. I have learned a lot along the way of these last five years. I make these videos in hopes to inspire other entrepreneurs out there that were in my shoes just a few years ago. So it's 2023 guys. Last year I thought it was a pretty great year for my own self-development, growth, you know, as a husband, father, businessman, CEO of Three Nails. Um, it was a great year, but 2023, I have even more just motivation and intensity to really double down on the things that worked for me in 2022, but also doing things outside of the box in 2023, like doubling down on my content, especially just taking my personal brand even more serious, making more of these videos. So about a month ago, I hired a new editor. He's been rocking it for me. We're really doubling down on the content that we're producing. So if you guys are noticing me pumping out two shorts every single day, Monday through Friday, and then we're doing two long long form videos like this that I'm shooting today on YouTube every single week. So we're pumping out 12 pieces of content every single week, which is 48 pieces of content every single month. This is just something that my personal goal to level up myself in the year of 2023 is to really take my personal brand serious. And that just directly correlates with impact. You know, the reason I'm making these videos is to make an impact, to, to share my thoughts and ideas of things that I wish I would have known years ago. You know, when I first started my brand, and I was looking up Google and YouTube, different videos of what could have helped me. There was a lot of fluff out there, and I still feel like there's a lot of fluff out there, especially a lot of these videos are more so on mindset. And mindset is huge. It is very huge, but I've always wanted to make videos on real tactics. Can I actually take that and apply it to my own life starting today, starting tomorrow? A lot of those videos that I had consumed back in the past, I wasn't able to do that. And so I want to be that person that kind of changes that narrative to be able to come in here and, and you guys can watch my videos and be like, man, this isn't fluff. This is actual value that I can take and apply to my business or to apply to my self-development, to apply to my life right away. That's my hope. That's why I'm making these videos for you guys. I've said this in previous videos, you know, my main goal one day is for multiple, multiple people, a ton of people to message me and just tell me, hey Derek, your videos really helped me and it allowed me to leave my nine to five job to start my own business, and now I'm able to provide for myself and family. I was able to leave the rat race. Running a successful business, making six figures a year, making seven figures a year is one thing. But to me, success is number one, obviously pursuing the purpose that God has given me. But within that, there's freedom. So freedom is doing what I want, where I want, with who I want, as long as I want. Where there's no, there's no limits, there's no oh, we can't do this because we can't afford it, or I can't do that because I don't have enough time. If you're making a couple hundred thousand dollars a year, but you're working for the man at a nine to five job, you have time constraints. You're not able to live your life freely. They don't have the freedom that an entrepreneur does to create their own schedule. Now entrepreneurs out there too can be very, very limited, but it's how they build a team. And in the early days, in the early years, you have to do everything yourself. But once you get to a point, you're able to hire team members to take stress off your plate, you're able to have more freedom in your life. And that's when I truly believe that you've made it. Okay, so getting into the leveling up process. What new skills can I learn this year that's going to catapult me from here to the next level? Because what I've learned the past five years is not going to get me to here. So in order to at least double the size of my business come this year at the end of 2023, which is my goal, I have to become this type of person. So I need to invest into coaching calls. So that is one new thing that I'm doing that I just started as of, I believe a month and a half ago or two months ago, is I'm paying, I'm paying money for other people's time who are where I want to be. So that's something that I'm utilizing is I'm willing to pay money for CEOs and founders time, CMOs, COOs, people who are in logistics, back into the business, operations, just finding people who have already done it, spending 500 bucks to $1,000 for an hour of their time. That's what it takes. Because I am in this territory now with how do I get from this level to this level? We're at multiple seven figures right now. Well, we want to hit eight figures. How do we get there? 
And that's something that I'm trying to level up myself is just learning and developing. And then not only myself, but how am I investing in my team? How am I investing into my director of operations to level him up? How am I investing into my marketing manager, Caitlin, to level her up? Really trying to groom both of those roles into executive level roles. So that's something that I have as a goal for myself and something that I pride myself in is investing into my team. Because how do you expect your team to level up if you're not investing into them? And it takes money to invest into your team. It takes money to be able to speak to these individuals that have made it there. Uh, it takes money to purchase courses and to learn how to advertise on Facebook, Google, TikTok, Pinterest, Snapchat, you name it, right? Every course out there is, may not be good, right? However, if you do your research, there's a ton of successful courses out there that I've been able to take that have transformed my whole business. And I look at when my business was stagnant or not growing back in the past, like the first two years. And when my business started to really grow exponentially is when I took a course. When I took a course on learning how to run Facebook ads, when I took a course on learning how to run Snapchat ads, taking courses has immensely immensely scaled my business. But I've taken this thing so serious and I'm so hungry. Like I'm willing to learn, I'm willing to pay the price and sacrifice my time and money to learn more and to develop and to learn how to hire top A grade employees to come here alongside me to, to grow this brand and uh, to pursue this vision that God has given me. And that's the mission at the end of the day, is to inspire others to pursue their God-given purpose and to make an impact for God's kingdom through this clothing brand. And I wouldn't wanna do anything else, honestly. Even if I had a billion dollars in my bank account today, I would be doing exactly what I'm doing right now. So if you're feeling stuck, the quickest way to level up yourself is through self-development. It's 100% what you consume. What books are you reading? What TV shows are you watching? What music are you listening to? What profiles are you looking at? What content are you consuming on social media? That 100% is going to depict where you end up a year from now. And I'm not here to judge you. I'm just telling you what worked for me. Switching what I consume, listening to more podcasts as opposed to music, really limiting myself with video games or TV shows. When I'm at home eating dinner, instead of like watching a TV show, I'll instead listen to a podcast or I'll watch a YouTube video on business or sometimes my wife and I really enjoy watching Shark Tank. You know, stuff that really gets me thinking. And I do think that it is it is good to have a relief. I'm not saying everything needs to just be go, go, go on business and just learning and growing and developing. I think it's fine to have some time to de-stress, watch a show, just don't overdo it on shows that are bad for your health, like your mental health, shows that are on gossip, and like horror flicks and all that stuff. Even the Bible talks about you know taking every thought captive and keeping your mind on good things, things that are, are pleasant, things that are lovely. Think on these things. That's what the Bible talks about. We are a product of our environment. If we're around friends, we're influences, and, and we're consuming bad material and negative material and content out there, it's 100% gonna have a direct correlation on our life and it's going to either positively affect us or negatively affect us. So I just challenge you in 2023, really watch what you consume and just focus on the one thing. And that leads me to the next topic in this video is focus. In 2023, you need to completely change the level of focus and not diversifying a ton of things, not starting multiple businesses, not trying to do too much at one time, focusing and narrowing on the one thing. In my business, when I've been able to scale it so fast, it's not, bringing on a ton of new partnerships and new influencers and just like a bunch of things and diversifying. It's mostly simplifying what we're doing that's working so well. These best sellers, instead of buying a ton of different colors and a ton of different products to, to sell out of quicker to our customers to try to please them, we're focusing on our best sellers, buying as much as we humanly possibly can in the best selling colors, while also bringing in limited drops, new colorways that are limited to appease our already return customers. But if you can just focus on the things that are working so well, simplify those things, just do more of those things, that is the quickest and easiest way to scale your brand in 2023. So my goal for myself in 2023 is just to remain locked in and staying consistent. If you just do that every single day, take it day by day, week after week, month after month, year after year, you guys are gonna see growth. I plan on continuing to listen to A-grade podcasts like Ryan Pineda, Alex Hermosi, Born to Impact by Joel Marion. Joel Marion is a email marketing genius. If you guys don't know about email marketing, look him up. He is the king. He started a supplement company. His, in the first year, he hit $100 million in sales. 
and his goal was 10 million. I don't even know how that's humanly possible. That is so crazy. He started off with, I believe, five employees, two for that first year. Unbelievable. But the guy really understands email marketing and he's doing way bigger and better things now. And he's a fellow Christian, one of my top podcast recommendations. But I'm gonna be continuing to listen to those podcasts. I am going to be reading a minimum of 12 books this year, all books on self-development, really just learning, learning new skills or sharpening the skills that I already have. I really want to learn about operations, really want to learn about the back end of the business, and then learning how to just, learning how to scale a business to eight figures. So finding books on the back end and operations and building teams out. That's kind of the goal there for books. And then last but not least, three is just developing my knowledge and education by paying other mentors for their time spending an hour on a Zoom call with them, picking their brain, having monthly meetings with multiple mentors every single month for this year, for not only myself, but my team as well, to really level them up. So that's really the three things. I could go on detail and give you more than 10 things of how I'm gonna level up myself, but those three things I really, really do believe are going to level myself up as a CEO in 2023. And as a fourth one, as a bonus, it's going to be meditation. I am going to be spending 10 minutes every single day for dedicated visualization. And I know some people out there get a little wonky on like meditation and tapping into the third eye and all that, like new age stuff that I do not like, I am not a part of. I am a Christian, I believe that new age is not of God at all. However, I do believe that God has created meditation to be able to rest into him and to learn from him, but also visualization is huge. And I have always meditated in the past previous years. That has always helped me. It sowed those good seeds, visualize myself as a CEO of a company when I was out of my garage, when it was hard to see success, hard to see how my company one day could be scaled to where we're at right now. So for me, sometimes at night, I like to take Epsom salt baths, it really helps with just, you know, revitalizing my body and I will just sit in there for 10 minutes and just visualize my future, my goals, accomplishing what does it feel like when you hit those goals. Visualizing that for myself, just visualizing my wife being healthy, you know, because she's been dealing with a lot of chronic illness. So just planting really good seeds in my head. And that really does create a positive impact on me you know, moving forward each and every day. So meditation, 10 minutes every single day, dedicated visualization is going to be huge in my growth in 2023. So that's my master plan of exactly how I'm going to level up as a CEO in the year of 2023. I just pray for you guys out there that you guys make this your year. Do not let another year go by where you're sitting stagnant on the sidelines, get into the game, get into the arena, listen to podcasts, read different books, find mentorship from other people out there, visualize, meditate, just start learning, start researching, get on YouTube, get on Google, start figuring out how to build a business on the side of your job. Do whatever it takes to get there, man. So anyways, make this 2023 your year, guys. I believe in you. God bless you all. If you guys did enjoy this video, please, all I ask for is to give me a thumbs up. If you're new here again, hit the red box down below. Subscribe to the channel, hit the bell for notifications. Love you all, God bless. See you next video, peace.